Hey everybody, Crystal Covington here, founder of Women of Denver, and I am here today chatting with Betty Wang, who is an amazing financial expert that I've been getting to know and having a blast this morning. So I look forward to sharing a little bit more about who she is, and I will let Betty give a little description of her background and talk a little bit about how you came to be. She came, she, so I'm from the Midwest, and so we're both Midwestern ladies. I came from Michigan, and she's from Chicago, where it was my second stomping ground. So this will be very fun. So Betty, tell us a little bit about um, your background. Well, first of all, thanks for having me and making me feel so comfortable. I was just telling Crystal how uh, how nervous I was. So <laughs> thank you. Um, well, my business is personal finance and investing. And like all of us, it started with my money story. And my money story started very, very early. I was telling Crystal that my parents are immigrants and they came to this country with $100 to their name, not knowing a soul in this country. And uh, so I grew up with a lot of anxiety about money and what happens if my dad lost his job. Um, deep shame when our wood paneled green station wagon, the green machine would break down again. <laughs> and also, you know, the guilt, the guilt knowing that my parents went without so that my brother and I could take swimming lessons at the Y. So my money journey, I always wanted to learn about money and take control of that money because I never wanted to worry about it again. <laughs> And so I majored in finance and then worked for an institutional management firm in Chicago. From there, I moved to San Francisco and I was a vice president of a large boutique um, or at a large boutique investment firm there. And my career and my financial world were going awesome. And then life happened. I had my first son. He had a lot of health issues. And that changed my, my perspective on life and my priorities and it was a painful time to figure out how to have that financial security in the future and live my life now. And that's how BW Financial started. I really, I really want to help other women with their journey. Everybody's different with how to live their best life now while protecting their financial future. So that's, that's me. That's how I, that's how I got here. I love that. It's such an empowering story of taking charge and understanding that there was something that you had fear and concerns around, shame and fear around, that you were able to take that and make that your expertise, help yourself and be able to support others with that. And it's such a big, I mean, it's a big component of our lives. It's right. how we get the resources to be able to do the things that we dream about and to just have basic security, basic, you know, care for the people and our and, and our loved ones and basic be um, opportunities to be able to right. do things like stay home and take care of them. Yeah, money is is a lot of uh, helps with choices. It helps with flexibility for your life. It's a tool, and that was yeah. a big lesson for me. <laughs> it wasn't something to be hoarded and hoarded it some more <laughs> and put into a bank account somewhere. Yeah, I have um, had my share of money stories and. You know, I think one of the things that everybody struggles with is having, and this is what I'd love to, to chat about, you know, is looking at what goes on in the world and if we should be paying attention to it and responding to it or how we can create a philosophy that says, forget the noise. This is my, this is my philosophy and going with it. I did work in the financial industry for a little bit. And oh, I you didn't say that. For about three years and they would, they always taught us, you know, it's not about timing the market, it's time right. in the market. And so those kind of messages came to me and I realized that there's so much more to financial philosophy than just saying, oh my gosh, the market's up, the market's down. And sometimes those things don't really matter if you have a certain philosophy. So can you talk about, you know, financial philosophies and how we can look at what's going on right now and kind of think of and process that when it comes to our own personal finances? Yeah, well, I do agree with that financial firm that you had worked with that it is time in the market. That said, I think people are really nervous about the elections. There's a lot of uncertainty and when uncertainty comes, usually a, a big sell off in the market. So I would really encourage women of Denver and your loved ones to check in with your financial planner or somebody that you trust because there is a lot of noise out there. That's how the news media 
gets eyeballs on um, their show or on their newspaper by perpetuating the story that whoever wins uh, the market returns are going to be terrible, um, that everything's going to go to hell. And um, that's just not true. For, uh, if you look back historically since 1926, who gets elected into the, to the White House for, from a market perspective, from a market return perspective, doesn't really affect how that functions. Um, obviously, the, whoever's elected president will drive the country in the future, uh, but but it's it's really not a do or die. Yeah. The, the only thing that I would say to clients or to everyone is that there is going to be or there is a lot of talk out there about a prolonged legal battle after the election, and that's something that you might want to touch base with with your financial planner about, is this a good time for me to buy? Um, are we doing okay? Because if you're uncertain, that's that's when you should be calling your financial planner or your financial person. If there's a dollar sign and a question mark, that's when I tell my clients, that's when you should be calling me. Yeah, I love that. If there's a dollar sign and a question mark, give me a call. <laughs> <laughs> I know it sounds cheesy, but it's, it's I think it sticks with people because yeah. it it's those it's that stress that I want to take away from clients. It's that yeah. I don't know what to do, and having an objective, trusted person to talk to. I'm, I'm fee only, so I don't work on commission. Anything I tell you, anything I advise you, it is for your best interest, for what you want in your life, um, and and so that's. That's something that I find really rewarding. I love that. Yeah, that's what we use. If we, we, I mean, you just, you know, pay your fee. You don't know, you don't feel like they're going to try to sell you something that, um, you know, is, 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 you know, because they make good commissions on it or something like that. And that's kind of the philosophy. It's like, I can just pay for, you know, the time and get a piece of, get the advice to go over something. And sometimes it just helps when I'm in the, thinking process and saying, you know what, I have this, this thought, we had a, a time um, where we wanted to sell off a bunch of stuff. We said, the market's going crazy. Should we right. be selling? Oh my God. And then the, we had, you know, a fee advisor that's a fiduciary that said to us, um, what's your philosophy? And we went over it and talked it through yeah. and it was like, oh, that was a bad decision. And now we can actually track it back and say, we would have lost a ton of money if we did that. <laughs> Right. So yeah, there's things like that where it's like, you know, that that support is really helpful. And I didn't realize that about you. That's wonderful. Yeah, I'm a fee only fiduciary. And I would encourage if somebody's in the market for finding a financial planner that that's there's very good, honest people that work in the financial world. But um, I think it's the fee only fiduciary they're legally bound. I mean, I think that's silly. We should always do what's right for your client, but that's their promise to you is yeah. we're not selling anything. We want, we're, it's our legal duty to do what's best for you and only you. And that's, that's why I chose that business model for myself. Or if I say, I think you really need to talk to an insurance person. I'm not getting paid for that. I'm only saying that because I think you need it. <laughs> you might want to think about it. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So how can people get in touch with you to learn a little bit more or find out about your services? Oh, well, the, I have a website and, um, or you could always, especially women of Denver, you could just give me a call at, or do I give my number? How does that work? Or check oh, out I my website. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, this I'll, is all new for I'll, me. I'll, yeah. It, my yeah, website's probably the best and you could schedule a time to talk. It's always a complimentary 30 minutes. And if I'm not the right fit for you, I will try to find the right fit for you. I, I, I realize that I am not always the perfect match. I think, I think personal connection is a really big part of this because it's such a personal business to talk about your, about your money. Uh, I think people said it's like getting naked in front of somebody <laughs> because there is a lot of shame. There is a lot of shame. There is a lot of guilt. Um, there's a lot of personal things that people bury and you want to be able to talk to someone you trust and that you like and that you have um, mutual respect for. 
And maybe right. I'm not that person sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> but I will find yeah. you somebody that works, right? Nice. Well, I love that. I love that feeling of, you know, that openness, that feeling that you understand that there's so much. It's just like picking a therapist, really. <laughs> so it's yeah. Like, you pick a therapist that you feel comfortable basically opening up and just pouring it all out to. So I feel like, you know, that's a, that's a really important relationship and it's something really special to go into that business for sure. So thank you so much, Betty, for thank taking you. the time to share, and share a little bit about your thoughts about everything going on right now <laughs> and how people should be responding. So I hope to get to know you a little bit more over time and I look forward to seeing more of what you have to share. Thank you. Thanks for making this so easy on me. <laughs> 